Koli koli na mona mo na mona mo amakamuli baadesa. All right, since tu abona mo amakamuli baadesa, Apostle. Mm. Um, ah, okay, you 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 are the one that uh, wrapped yes. up. Uh, Let him finish his thought. Oh, you finish your mm. thought. Okay, before you finish your thought, I want you to marry your thought with this one. Na mona mo uh, amaka. Now you tell me, um, Apostle. C one is making what I would call threats. Because if if he's dealing with uh, say um, um, the ministers, he's talking to to uh, mean about ministers, is practically talking about the entire nation. Because you can imagine if you know the cases is pronouncing, say I'm going to kill them and stuff like that. If four, five, ten ministers died at the spot, this nation would be uh, not a good nation at that particular time. Mm -hmm. You tell me, what do you make of that? Does Sia One really have power to eliminate lives? Um, I think when he's speaking, also we need to understand that he has a base. Okay. I think where he's speaking, because those people who went to him, they went, they went as individual, and also they are something that they agreed. Because also we need to understand that the power of witchcraft, also witchcraft is real. Mm -hmm. It can work if somebody has surrendered, has surrendered to that person. And that power can work because see, I want it's like somebody who's above and who make those people to enter in the confession and he gave mm -hmm. them what? So he has a base where he can speak and command them because those people they they were in agreement, they agreed with him. But now also those people because they are human beings. And they can surrender these things to say now we surrender these things. We have nothing to do these things. And also they go to the men of God, those who can help them and deliver them. They can be delivered. Okay. And, uh, and those fear that now Persia is speaking about the minister, those things cannot work. Even once they I, surrender. Once they surrender mm, and, and pray for, for them, yeah, they ask for prayer mm. and they speak the blood of Jesus to protect them. When those people, they'll be free. The Bible says, whom the sun sets free is free indeed. indeed. All right. When somebody surrenders his life to the authority of Jesus Amen. and no any powers of darkness that have power even to destroy that person. That's why the Bible says, if God be for us, who mm. can be? Against us, against mm. us, and also see our one knows mm. to say that these people, when they go to other men of God, they surrender these things mm -hmm. and they pray for them in truth. And those people, they will be, they will be delivered. That's why he say, "I'm saying to you, don't go to any man of God." He have said that mm -hmm. in his statement. Yes, yes. So he have said but, that. But why do you think he said that? Was that psych psychology? Yes, to work on their minds, because you know the devil is a liar even from the beginning, mm. and now. We, we have a proof that this man mm -hmm. is not using the power of God. Of God. And he was he said he, it himself. Yes, he mm -hmm. was reducing Christ. He said, even when Christ can uh, come mm -hmm. from heaven mm -hmm. and vote for PF, mm -hmm. they cannot they cannot win the election. You reduce the power of Jesus Christ. All right. And, and one thing that I wanted, man of God, mm -hmm. uh, what I want to mm -hmm. say. When you see any prophet who is, uh, who is more proud, mm. uh, you must know that this is not God. That's why son, I, I, I remember one day, I had a very successful meeting. I want to make it quick in, because in, this okay. is our last segment. In <laughs> Copper Belt, I had a very successful meeting where I find people, they want to glorify you, to lift mm. you. Mm. I taught people to say, stop. This is why whenever Jesus was like uh, given some praises, he was sneaking. Yes, mm -hmm. because the people they can take you to the place of God, mm. not to give God the praise, the glory. Mm -hmm. but they start glorifying man. You, it's right. what we are. What is happening today? Right. Because when God lifting a man, you you see that man will remain humble. All right, true. Um, apostle uh, Shmunza, <laughs> we have two apostles. Uh, you tell me. Um, uh, I have this feeling. Uh, Sia One was like two in one. From the ordinary, people were seeing a man of God. <laughs> and deep inside of him, he knew he was not a man of God. Are we, can we then say the ministers that he's claiming went to him and other musicians and stuff, did they go to him as a man of God or maybe they went to him as a Sangoma? What you need to understand is that deception mm -hmm. is not obvious. 
it must be descent. Okay. And not everybody has the capacity to descend. Mm -hmm. The Bible is very clear, clear in Hebrews chapter 5. It says that uh, according to the maturity of a person, they are able to descend between good and evil. So notice that when people are deceived because of their lack of maturity and they are desperate, they need miracles, they need healing. Some of them, they need jobs, they need money. And uh, here is a person who is operating in the spirit of deception. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so they are desperate, yeah. they are vulnerable. Mm -hmm. This is what has happened to many victims. Now, those who are in politics, who are ministers who went to get power from this man, mm -hmm. God does not talk about powers. God mm. talks about power. Power, not power. Powers. Not powers. Mm. God is all power. All power belongs to God. God is omnipotent, mm. meaning it's the ultimate mm. of all power. absolute power. Mm. So notice that the moment you start hearing powers, mm. you collected powers from me, just know. That is not of God. That's but, but do, do you think, so deception is the key. Mm -hmm. do, do you think the time they were going to him, he was open enough to tell them, to say, these powers are not powers from God? The devil cannot tell you that I'm yeah. the devil and I'm deceiving you. Oh, it is you now that must mm -hmm. deceive. But, but then That's why the people in our churches, mm -hmm. we must teach them the word of God. Mm -hmm. So that when they grow in the word, according to Hebrews chapter 5, it says that then they'll be able to discern between good and evil. And evil. So not everybody has got the, the ability to discern. And that's the reason why 1 Corinthians chapter number 12, 13, and 14 mm -hmm. defines one of the most controversial gifts in the church is prophecy and prophets. Okay. Why? When a prophet is functioning, the Bible does not teach that a prophet should function alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says there must be other prophets yes, to, confirm. to judge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anybody who is in the prophetic ministry must submit his prophetic ministry mm -hmm. to other prophets. Mm -hmm. So that there are two or three prophets mm -hmm. judging what that the test prophetic ministry yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you find a prophet who is just the naming themselves, doing everything for themselves, and then they gather up what they call their spiritual sons, you know there is falsehood and error. Because have you submitted to the other prophets? All right. Now, Apostle, can your prophet be when your prophet is be judged. Now, Apostle, Siawan was saying, these people that I'm referring to, mm. they know I told them that I will kill them if only if they don't follow the instructions. Now, by him saying that, can, should we assume that these people knew? Well, when you, there's no free gift with the devil. The devil doesn't give yeah. you free lunch. Okay. That's why people must know the truth and mm -hmm. the truth will set them free mm -hmm. and make them free. Mm -hmm. When you go to the devil and you enter into, you, the Bible says, to whomsoever you yield yourself, mm -hmm. you become a slave, a slave to, to that, that person. person. So when you go to a false prophet you're and a slave you, of a you take your offering prophet. on that altar, mm -hmm. you enter into a covenant to an agreement with them. They give you something also like a ring. A ring is the symbol of a covenant. Mm -hmm. So witchcraft is real. If it was not mm -hmm. real, God would not have talked about witchcraft in the Bible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the power mm -hmm. of witchcraft is a yes, power of so. darkness. It's a power of the devil and it works. All right. If you take what belongs to the devil, mm -hmm. he can kill you because the devil comes to yeah. steal. Give he comes Caesar. to kill. What he comes to destroy. To uh -huh. Jesus came that mm -hmm. he might have life mm -hmm. and have it more abundantly. abundantly. So if people will go to Christ, Christ already died for us. Mm -hmm. if, if you go to Christ, Christ shed his blood for us. But when you go and submit your blood, Mm. You make a covenant, mm. you sacrifice your offerings, mm. and you take it to a false prophet. Mm. He has power and control over you. Yo. Unless, unless, like a man of God says, you come to a true man of God, mm. you are delivered. So the, the warning should be to politicians who are practicing mm. witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Whether you are in the ruling mm -hmm. or opposition, mm. and you are practicing witchcraft. Mm. We want to say that then you are also operating in what? In darkness. That includes you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not practicing that. Yeah. Okay, okay, but you're a politician. Yes, but okay. I'm saying politicians who are going to people, who oh, are yeah. doctors, mm -hmm. getting mm -hmm. powers of darkness and so forth. Mm. That is not, that's why the Bible is clear. Mm. Some of us have gone in politics now because the Bible says when the righteous rule, mm. the people rejoice. rejoice. Oh, yeah. You see, and that's the difference now. Right. So there's the righteous and there are those who are practicing darkness mm -hmm. and witchcraft. And that's what we are saying. Even 2021, we don't need politicians who are taking this country into idol worship, taking this country into witchcraft. God is angry when innocent mm. blood is shed, mm. ritual killings or whatever you mm. want to talk about. Mm. In a Christian nation, such things must not be mentioned. Sure. Yeah, All good. right. Uh, Apostle Kunda, you tell me, um, other people are of the view that probably Siawan is just uh, playing games. Mm -hmm. Because he will tell you today to say, on Sunday I will make the announcement. <laughs> then he will tell you to say, no, I, I'm unable today. Uh, you know, give me up to Tuesday and stuff like that. Other people are beginning to think to say he's just playing some uh, psychology on people. Maybe he can't even kill them. Maybe uh, he doesn't even have the powers to kill them. Mm. What, what do you make of that? Uh... I think or maybe it's also, attention. also when he, you you are seeing him coming, also he's giving excuse mm -hmm. why he didn't address the nation. Mm -hmm. 
this happened, this and this happened. So he's giving excuse mm. like yesterday. <laughs> yesterday promised to say he's coming with evidence Thursday. and he will show mm -hmm. everything without fail. Without fail. <laughs> so we don't know which excuse that he will bring it today. Maybe he will speak today like that. Mm -hmm. But one thing that I can tell the country, we don't need even to fear. And also, again, is using psychology. And is is having the nation that he want to address. He's having that because you have given him the audience. The audience. And people are get ready. They want to listen to <laughs> him. But, uh, but I want to say to my fellow countrymen and women, we, we must actually not to put so much mind in CR1. If we have some things to do, mm. it's better we get busy with our business. Mm. If we have opportunity, yes, to listen to this, but but we don't need to put our mind on it in it mm. because that the man is not speaking about the power of God. But one thing that I was uh, just affected because let me say this mm -hmm. thought: where is mentioning the men of God in Zambia that they are doing nothing? Mm. You oh, know, okay. like uh, okay. uh, any man of God. Mm -hmm who can stand and reduce the elders in the land and rebuking them openly mm. those who are saving god in that particular country Faithful. that that is not a man of god mm -hmm. it's like i cannot stand even no matter miracles that i can perform where well, i can be a man of god mm. i cannot stand and speak about nigeria mm -hmm. And the men of god in that country in any country mm -hmm. so see a one word we have seen what we have seen it's not a man of god and also is not meant where everything that is speaking it's not for good not for for, good. for this country so as as a nation mm -hmm. we don't need to put mind in these things of cr1 and my advice to the country those who were affected mm -hmm. maybe were impacted with cr1 they have the things to cr1 if they cannot go there mm -hmm. one thing that they can do let them seek the men of god who can help them and surrender and, them to the men and of god. surrender Prayer. those things to the men of god and those people they will be washed by the power of the blood of jesus amen and nothing that will happen amen amen as we wrap up apostle uh, Shmuza, uh <clears throat> I, I i i i want us i, I want you to help us see one is now you know um <laughs> the, the talking point and uh we know to say like the man of god has said we shouldn't really give him that uh, listening ear mm. he's just making a joke of uh, probably zambians and himself he's seeking attention but i want you to help us do we really think if the men of god in zambia prayed this guy we, we do we have as men of god do we have the power to stop the operations of well, one the, the church of jesus christ has power yeah mm -hmm. and the power is the power of god jesus mm. is the head of the church not any man. Mm -hmm. And uh, CR1 will come and go. The church of Jesus Christ will remain. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus is the same yesterday, today. today. He doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when people make individual covenants with wrong things, mm -hmm. the effect of those covenants is to those who made them, mm -hmm. not the whole nation. Mm -hmm. So we must not involve the whole nation on an issue that borders on individual, individual. people who went to covenant with CR1. That is wrong. And that is why the government of the Republic of Zambia is not correct to start responding when Siawan is not asking them. He asked those ministers who took things from him. Okay, this is where also we have given him, like the man mm. of God is saying, too much attention because mm. he was, those who went there are the ones to answer, mm -hmm. not the government of the Republic of Zambia. But then, if the government is going to give him so much attention, switch off his Facebook and all that, what are they saying to us? Are they guilty? Does it mean that in the PF government, everybody's guilty, that they, all of them, most of them, if all of them took things from CR1? No, but, uh, but the Apostle, church has power. Uh, Apostle, um, mm. if we say it's only addressing or targeting ministers mm. and not the entire government, mm. but I believe that these ministers are part of the government, and don't you think it's the responsibility of the government to also speak on behalf of the ministers? Well, I think that uh, the first response should not be the government. The first response should be the responsibility of those who went there. But, but okay. like the way things are, I, I, I see it very difficult, if not impossible, for an individual minister to say, uh, CR1, talk, stop talking about us. No one would want to come in the light and say... How, how does the government them. take back rings if they got rings? It's, like, it's not the government that took rings from there. Mm -hmm. It's the individuals. Mm -hmm. Okay, So the individuals have the primary role to respond. 
and to take back those things. And like a man of God, I said, if they can't go, let them come to authentic men of God mm -hmm. who can help them and let them get delivered. But for the whole country to be held hostage by a false prophet, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's misrepresented. Yeah. It's right. We, mm. we were, we see our one only came seven years ago. Mm. Like you're saying, mm. Mm. we were in ministry. We're casting out demons. Yeah. Before we he don't. Came. Jesus healed people. Mm. Let me tell you, a mm. true man of God does not publicize miracles. Mm. Mm. Jesus mm. healed people, mm -hmm. and when he healed a person, he says, "Don't say this to mm. anyone." Mm -hmm. mm. It's not all miracles that yeah. that we have gone through that we take on the media. Yeah, it's true. Okay, but he, you know, there is a type of ministry that has come now that mm. every little thing, you, if somebody gets you, do you want to just quickly? Mm. No, Jesus healed people, mm -hmm. and he said, "Don't tell anyone." Yeah, it's not everything that we must be showing off. Ministry is not a show off. Okay, it's not a show off. It's to glorify God. So if somebody comes to my office, I pray for them; they are healed. The glory goes to God. Not to me, All right. not to anybody else. One word, is Zambia safe? Zambia is not safe uh, in the sense that uh, I think that the church must be built accurately. The church must begin to be able to represent God accurately. We must have uh, a situation where the church is discipling people. If we are not going to disciple people, that is the mandate of the church. The mandate of the church is not to gather people. Mm -hmm. But Jesus says, go and make Construct, build mm -hmm. disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Lord, and teaching them to observe. So that when the church is properly built in Zambia, like Jesus says, I build my church, mm -hmm. and it's built by apostolic patterns, and it's built, whatever God builds, He builds on a pattern. He told Noah, build on pattern. Mm -hmm. He told Moses, build on pattern. You know, David, when he's giving the Solomon the pattern of the temple, it's always on pattern. So what is the pattern of the prophetic? What is the pattern of the apostolic? What is the pattern of the pastoral ministry or teaching ministry or evangelist ministry? Once we know that, then the church will be in authority as God has intended. And the gates of hell, mm -hmm. like what we are seeing now, that shall not prevail. The, over the nation, mm -hmm. the gates of hell will be shut by a church that is built up. A church that is not properly built up mm -hmm. allows gates of hell to destroy a nation. But if the church in Zambia is built the way Jesus said, build my church, the gates of hell cannot prevail. Mm -hmm. But where the church is not built, mm -hmm. hell and the gates of hell start opening up and prevailing. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Apostle, I want you to look in the camera. Yes. Because of time. Mm -hmm. And say a prayer in one minute. Mm -hmm. Assure, assure, a prayer of assurance of God's protection over Zambia. Thank you. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you. This is thank you, Lord. your nation that you have ordained to your glory of your name. Thank you, Lord. May you protect this nation called Zambia, yes, a Christian Lord. nation. Yes, Lord. We cover this nation under the power of your blood. Thank you, Lord. Any sin that has been committed by our politicians, mm. by our leaders, mm. Father, may you have mercy on us yes, Lord. and wash this nation under the power of your blood. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lord, the sin of corruption, tribalism yes, in our nation, Lord, forgive us yes, Lord. and wash us with your blood. Yes, may you bless this nation, keep this nation to the glory of your holy name. Yes, we break every spirit of manipulation yes, that works against Arabo this Shaka nation Shaka in Shaka jesus yes, my name yes, zambia you are blessed yes, may the lord keep you may the lord cause his face to shine upon mm. you and be gracious to you yes. and mm. give you peace mm. as a nation mm. in jesus name amen. Amen. amen amen you've been awesome my apostle thank you apostle thank you very you've much. you've been awesome thank you we'll be knocking on us. your door thank, thank you for, for the... my God, i'm honored to be with you it's my pleasure. Amen. Amen. It's my pleasure. All right. So there you have it. This has been Faith Avenue right here with your brother, Minister K. Today we were looking at an intriguing topic where we were discussing, you know, our prophets and the prophet. And we've come to conclude to say every prophet has to be within the confines of the person of Jesus Christ. Outside Jesus Christ, there ought not to be any prophets. Otherwise, it should be false prophets <laughs> all right and every prophet is a testimony of jesus christ zambia itself because christ is the lord of this nation until we meet again shalom shalom came
bearing some gifts Including me, for you I will live Look at my gift and I wonder Will you accept it? I'm in need of your blessing This is my expression